All right, welcome. I hope you all are doing well, taking advantage of possible turnaround in the market. It's a lot uh, more fun, in my opinion, to play on a bullish side rather than trying to short things. Um, but yeah, so my name is Jacob. Um, I'm the an admin with the Blue Steel logo. I like to trade Smaller accounts have been pretty busy the last few months, so I haven't been able to be in front of my computer as much as I want to. Um, so I'm keeping my position size low, limits lower. Um, I just figured, let me try to help you all out with psychology, kind of how to trade smaller accounts. And it, especially for the people that are new, I know we got quite a few um, new VIP members or people on the fence of becoming VIP. This is definitely something for you. I just signed up for IBKR. So along with trading, um, I'll be showing you t my TOS setup, but I'll be doing this small account with IBKR, trying to get some hotkeys just to figure out and get kind of a lot more comfortable, confident in my trading and uh, a lot flow. So if you all have any questions, um, obviously put them down in the chat. Uh, you feel free to unmute yourself and ask anytime. Uh, basically, what we're going to do is when you log in, sign up, I will send you a waiver form for you to, si to, to sign. Obviously, we're doing paper trading, so it's not as much of a, um, it's not going to be a financial burden, but some people will like to possibly use these plays, these trades um, on their cash account, margin account, whatever you have. So it's just saying that, obviously, I'm not a financial advisor. Um, these are suggestions for you to take, and it's basically for education and whatnot um, for benefit. So here is um, the trade sheet that I brought up. Um, so basically on the date, let's say today's date, you, tra you traded uh, SPY. So we got into, let's go back to yesterday. So I'll show you kind of just how to figure this out. So we have the date, the ticker. Um, the entry so what strike did you enter what um or i mean you feel free to buy common stocks so if you get in the common stocks put that put that in there um and then so you can see here so the challenge will end at the last um last day of august i think or last trading day of this month i believe that's september 1st so and then so if you're holding common stock um I want you to upload a, a balance sheet from the start. And then when it's all said and done, you will upload the ending balance. And then the person with the highest percentage, we all are going to start with $1,000 of um, paper cash. So monopoly money, if you will. And we're going to go in. So let's just say um, yesterday we got into, I, I believe it was yesterday, spy puts. So we got into, really quick, we got into spy puts, and I'm going to show you why I got into that trade. I called it out in the chats on the VIP. Oops. So we're going to put here 8-03. We can say spy puts or spy. So entry, so let's say it got into a, it's got super cheap, super, just wanted in and out, 406 puts. Um, Sell 803. So, and then whenever you get out of it, you put in your exit price. Oh, so I've got this in 406 puts. 406 puts. Um, I bought, let's, I bought 10 of them for 0.12. And then I got out at... 0.28 or sorry 0.2 so my exit price was 0.2 so this obviously so i got 10 406 10 contracts of um 10 contracts 406 point 406 puts for 0.12 i got out at 0.2 so what my profit and loss would be 80 dollars so my balance right here is at 1,000. Right now, let's say I have 1,080. 
what TA did I use? I'll show you. I use the um, VWAP along with the intraday fib. And this should say exit. Why did I exit? Exit the trade here. Hit price. Hit PT1. Was the mood fall in this trade? Great. As soon as sold, price reversed. All right. So basically, this is what I did yesterday. Got in, got out. We'll go to the trading. Here is uh, my paper trade. I just reset it today so I could show you all. Um, and when you come in here, you see this all accounts. When you start your paper trade, uh, you'll need to change it. Come here to margin. It has your uh, IRA if you wanted to try invest in that as well. Click margin. It'll show you. Um, if you haven't opened your paper trade account, go to support. So you go to support. You create a support tab, um, and it's just on call. They'll get right with you. They're, they're great. Um, and make sure you get real-time trading. So when you open your paper trade account on Thinkorswim, it's 15 minutes delayed. So make sure you tell them when you're getting this one uh, that you need, you want one thousand dollars in your paper account to also give you real daytime trading. So now let's go to the um, trade that I took yesterday. So you can see here I wasn't available this morning, but um, we can come in. So you can see these lines right here. These are my, my Fibonacci level. You have the 0, 21.6, 31 point 0.2, 50%. Uh, I'm just going to mute everybody. Uh, apologize. If you have any questions, um, just unmute yourselves or ask in the, the chat. So you can see here what I did is when I, when I open up my Fibonacci's and I do my initial TA, I usually do it um, from one move to another move, or in this case, I did it from the, the top of the high of Mon Fridays all the way down to the low. And you can see that, that these Fibonacci levels have played out throughout the rest of this week. So when we're looking at yesterday's play, these Fibonacci's were still from Mondays, but you can see that where did it, so it opened up here, where did it touch first? It's 50% Fib came once it didn't hold that, that is when I was looking into puts. As soon as it came here and it broke this, that's when I was looking into puts. I'm on the five minute. You can see right here, this is when I called the puts right off the rejection of the VWAP. Um, this yellow line in, right here, this, it, this moves throughout the day. You can see it way up here. This is a consolidation line. So it would have been uh, th this, the reason why it's, the entire day is just because the day's been complete. You can see it bounced off a of VWAP. I call it outputs. Once it broke, um, this purple this purple line is my VWAP. Once it broke down to the, the downside, um, and now I'm looking at the SMA. So, or sorry, this purple line is my 200 MA. So once it broke that, didn't it hold, then now I'm looking at this blue line, which is a VWAP called it once it bounced off this. This is when I said to get in the calls and my first expiry was when was at the low. You can see the 0% this is 40682. If we go, we zoom out and we go to Monday or last Friday, where do we, where do we have this load right here? So this is going to be my first resistance my first level of support excuse me will be the low so on intraday when we're looking at scalps and trading that is what we're looking at we're looking at where is the next level of support so these fibonacci's are levels of support but right here where we have buyers that's showing me a decent level of support so that's when i said that's when i'm going to get out of puts obviously lay got into them rod got into them if you were any of you guys were on the vip you can throw it down in the chat if you got into that play. As soon as this hit, we said, get out, get out, get out, got out, and then immediately it reversed back up. Um, you can see it, it kind of came back up and then traded right around where you see the con con consolidation line, held it, broke the 50% FIB, and then went up to where? To where you have the double top and the previous day highs. 
so this is these are kind of plays um that i will be putting on the day trade alerts um obviously if there's a swing that i'm seeing if there's smaller because this is a this was a small cash friendly i mean that was a 12 dollar play so it's very small account friendly um and then when you make that play at the end if you let's say you make a couple more um oh where'd it go you make a couple more plays at the end of the day you then come into here upload all this great as I feel great as soon as I sold the price action reverse. Obviously, if I didn't sell, then I would be saying I would be at a loss. I would be saying I'm not feeling well. I didn't sell when I had my price target. I will then um, two or three times a week, we'll be looking at all of whoever is in the small accounts challenge. I'll be looking at this. And when I go live, I will be taking the plays or the trades that you all did, and I will be looking and, and looking at my setup. Let me, um, so then I'll be looking at my setup. So let's say if somebody wanted to play AMD today, we're looking here. Um, you can see where did this, where did today's touch? Today's low was again, all the way down on Monday's low. So if you were looking at looking at here and you you saw that it sold off overnight, obviously they had great EPS earnings for sure. Their earnings were good, but they missed guidance, so it's going to sell off. But where's our first price target? It didn't quite get there, but this would have been a close level, close range to keep an eye on to see a, a bounce. Once this bounce held VWAP, we can zoom in. Once this held VWAP, boom, we enter. And then we can write it write it up to I don't know the Fibonacci's on here. Um, today's Zoom meeting is just to kind of un understand and get some questions regarding the small accounts challenge. So I will show you how I play my Fibonacci levels, what exactly this uh, yellow line means, what are these blue boxes, what are these gray lines, how do I look at my technical analysis down here. So um, yeah, so any questions so far? I know I'm kind of going fast, but <laughs> if you all have any questions uh, about the small account, so that's uh, uh, the reason why I charge $100. It's probably going to go up here. I just want to get a good grasp, make sure it's only the second month that we've done it. Uh, last month was different. It was a little bit different. It wasn't paper trading, so I want to continue. But once we start um, getting this molded extremely well, so I appreciate the ones that have paid, that have sent, sent their waivers. Um, again, this is for the entire month. And if you are new to trading, this is a perfect time to, to, to sign up, get your cash account, and then just start trading. Spend the month, do five, 10 trades a day, um, and then just start learning. I'm gonna open this up. Um, I will show you all each of you will have your own individual. So these is something that you will fill out before. So during the month of August, these are the goals that I put beforehand. Wait for confirmation of a hold on the 15 or five minute time frame. I obviously can't type today. If the candle bounces off a critical level, so a critical level, my opinion is VWAP, the 50% FIB or 200 MA then wait for the next candle to close above or below the critical line so i gave you all my play that i did yesterday what um if you uh, what did i where did i fail at on this so i said when i entered when i entered i didn't wait for and it, it was a little scary for me for a little bit um when I entered, I entered after it bounced off of um, this 200 MA and the VWAP right here. So I didn't wait for this candle to close. So I got in. Well, I, excuse. So I got in here, but I didn't wait for this candle to close or for this candle to close. If I waited, then I would have not been panicking as much right here. But I saw the price action. I saw that there's um, the 9 MA, which is this 
purple line. I think I said 200 MA earlier. So this purple line, the 9 MA, the white line is the 200. So there's all these lines, all these levels of um, convergence coming down. And so it's going to be a, taking a lot of volume to be able to break it up over here, a lot of buying power. So when I saw that, and then you can see I drew the trend line down here to see exactly how once this trend line came down, I have three, one, two, three, four points of touching got out here. This would have been another entry point right in it up. Uh, this would have been early weights for the close above the VWAP. Then you just write it up to my next entry point would have been the 50% FIB exit. My ex price target exit um, would have been here. So, to, so that's the thing. So even though I feel great, I made a winning trade. I still got in prematurely according to, and that's what is um, my nemesis in trading. I get in a little bit too early. Um, so that worked out for me, but this could have, if this reversed 15, 10 minutes sooner, then I would have had to get stop lost out. My stop loss was here at this 409 level. And then um, I would have had a different <laughs> balance and a different uh, feeling. My mood would have been extremely different as well. So let's go. So, uh, with my cash account, I try not to do more than three trades a day. If I'm in three trades, if I start going, then that's where I feel I'm starting to chase. Um, so I try to limit myself to three trades and then I'll take profit at PT1 or PT2. Let's say I got, I had five of those, um, maybe let one or two sell three or four, let one or two ride, um, just to see if we can get a 50, 60, 70% trade. And then this right here is another big one for me. If the trade is above 20%, so if I have a 20% profit, um, or let's say if I have 30, 40, 50% profits, and then I have one or two stragglers that I'm letting ride, it, once as soon as it falls back down to 20%, I'm taking my profit right there. I'm not going to let it get down to break even. As soon as I get above 20%, it falls back down. That's where I'm taking profit. So I'm going to set a, a stop loss or I'm going to set a limit order for that price target to be taken. Um, again, the more you read, the more you're comfortable, the more confidence you are in the markets. This right here, I've been trading this setup for probably the past year and a half, two years. So this looks like a ton of lines, a ton of colors to y'all. But I know what each of these lines mean. I know what every single one of these colors are. Um, so find a trading setup, find your price target. If it's PT1, you want to take it at PT2. If you have a little bit more risk involved, um, find that whatever works for you and then just stick to it and keep it on your pay some sticky notes onto your computer, whatever you need, have this open on a, a laptop and a different kind, a different screen, whatever you need to stick to your, um, goals and benchmarks. That will be, that. that is what the most successful. Um, and then Chris, Chris and Martin and some other admins, they had a mastermind course. So throughout the month, I want to go back through all those courses and um, reteach myself, take notes. I'm sure there's a thousand things that I missed the first time I went through it. Again, right here, stick to a stop loss. Um, one of my favorite books is Trading in the Zone. I was an athlete in college. So he said athletes, entrepreneurs, um, doctors were some of the uh, some of the worst traders because they can't believe that they got themselves into a losing trade. They're some of the most confident people. So this was very hard for me to swallow because <laughs> quite frankly, it, it's true. If I'm in a losing trade, I'll be more likely to add to my position before than just to sell my position and, and, and take my losses. So I've stopped adding, I've stopped averaging down. Um, if I hit my stop loss, I'm out. If it reverses, it's painful, but that you, you can't be, if you're, if you're a hundred percent, uh, if you trade a hundred percent, then you probably wouldn't be in this discord. You would be the, one of the most wanted people, um, out there. So, and then again, after hours to go back and review my trades on different time zones, temp or 
different time frames, using my TA and seeing if I can find any other, um, see if I can find anything else that I could have been looking at. So if you look here, um, this is the one hour chart. Let's go to the 90 day one hour and see. So this would have been perfect uh, play right here on the one hour. You can see broke the, broke the, this white line is my 200 MA. Once it broke it, it trailed back. The 200 MA is one of my favorite uh, moving averages. It's like a magnet. So that's what I use. So here you can see the past 90 days, it hadn't traded above the 200 MA since April 8th. April 7th was the last time. So almost four months it hadn't traded. It touched it once. Here it traded up. I guess it did trade technically um, for this week, the, the last week of May before it broke it broke down again and then here it touched one two three times before it finally saw con got consolidated above it so once it bounced up here this is showing some critical um, a critical level could have potentially long longed it here so that right there so instead of doing intraday could have long now i'm looking to see okay we've had one, two, three, four, five. This was a about eight out of the last six trade, six out of the last eight trading days. We have been positive. So I'm going to be waiting for a little relief in the market for it to trade back down. This is going to continue curling up here. Once it once we start having one or two days possibly, then this is going to be my level of support that I'm looking at. Does that, does, that, does that make sense to everybody? You all all right with my um, the goals that I'm going to try and follow? Put can a fire. Yeah, yeah, I can hear you. Okay, oh, sorry. sorry. I, I see your hand up, Dee. I didn't see it up before. <laughs> it's okay. So I'm, you know, um, and I, can you just take it from the top and just give us, give me, how the challenge work and what are the expectations yeah okay so the challenge uh like i said in the everyone the free chat um it's a hundred dollars for the month and there's a waiver so once you are interested send me your email i will send you the waiver i will send you a uh, template of all the expectations but right here i will send once you once i receive confirmation of payment I will send you a link to this drive. So you'll have, basically you'll have this just without these um, goals. It will be an empty sheet for you to fill in your goals. I have eight right now. You can, uh, six to 10 is good. Um, and then at least three benchmarks that you're looking for. So you fill this in, then um, um, make sure you stick to it because it. I just want people to be trading. That's why I went to a, a, a cash Sorry, not a cash account, a paper trading account, because I want to oh. take emotion out of trading. The I'm more sorry. the the more emotion that you can remove from trading, the more successful you're going to be as a trader. If you can get 20, if you can regularly hit 15, 20, 30 percent trades, you actually can have more losing trades um, overall that have been hit by stop loss and still be a positive and, and gainful trader. So whether if you're on Thinkorswim, IBKR, whatever your platform is that has paper trading, you need to have a thousand dollars in your paper trading account. So when you open up your paper trade account, it'll be here. It'll say 2000. You just come to this all accounts tab, click margin, and they'll switch it to a thousand. If you have questions, um, so when you log in, there's a tab, a button that you can click to either do live trading or paper trading. Um, if you have any questions, just support right here. They are great. They will be, they'll do it um, in real time. You talk with them. As I said at the beginning, make sure you tell them that you want real time trading because when you sign up and you get a cat, uh, paper account, it's automatically set as 15 minutes delayed. So, um, so you need to tell them that you want real time trading, or you're gonna be, <laughs> you're gonna be seeing people talking in the the VIP or the chats or whatever, and it's not gonna be what you're seeing real real time. 
Um, so, so apart from that, uh, so obviously we all start with a thousand and then every day you need to upload your trades here. Mm -hmm. So part of your drive, you will have this as well. Um, not sure why it's so zoomed in. So you have this. So like I said, yesterday I traded spy. Um, so I got in spy, I got 10 contracts at 406 puts. I don't know if you saw, I went through, um, the trade at uh, $12. The exit price I got out was 20. So I made a profit of $80 overall. So here's my balance. My starting balance is a thousand. Now I'm here at uh, 1080. So my technical analysis that I use, why did I enter? I saw that it rejected off the VWAP and I was using my intraday Fibonacci levels. Let me get this to, oops. So uh, that can be a little bit more VROP rejection and intraday FIB. Re Oops. Intraday FIB. Rejection off 50% level. So that's why I entered. Why did I exit? It hit my PT1, which was low of Monday. So if you come here, uh, let me go back to the five minute. So on this, I was looking at the five minute. So that's the thing. So Chris, if you all are following Chris, he trades the nine EMA. He's been trading that for, for a while. So I've been, I use the, the VWAP and this, the intraday Fibonacci levels. So as you can see here, um, put a fire emoji in the chat. If you guys got into this put. So Lay, Rod, and I all called out this put um, on yesterday. Oh, where is it? I need to go to the five-day. Nobody got into that put yesterday? So you can see here um, on Friday. Sorry, I said Monday. It's Friday. So you can see here Friday's low was um you can see the zero percent so all these dotted lines these are the fibonacci levels so friday open so i drew this my fibonacci's from um friday's low to the high and it still played out throughout the last three trading days so basically what i was looking for was here rejected yesterday it rejected off this 50 percent. i was looking for um puts and then once it rejected again um, off the, this blue line, this solid blue line right here is the VWAP. Once it rejected here, that's when I got in. Um, as I was saying, I did get in prematurely because I didn't wait for this candle to close, which is one of my goals that I'm working on. Didn't wait for that to close. Um, so this was a little bit uh, nerve wracking, kind of shot back up, but it still stayed below the 9MA. So Chris was like rejection off the 9MA. Um, and then you can see this was Friday's low. So what did I do? This was my first price target. As soon as it hit here, Rod Lay and I, we all shouted, get out. Um, we can see the receipts <laughs> in the VIP chat. We got out and thankfully we did because then it just rocketed up from there. Um, so yeah, so does that answer your question? So that was a trade. Sorry, at the, yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So that was that. That was a trade. At the end of the day, I upload this. What was my mood? It was great because I all all my technicals hit, and I listened to myself. I could say um, I can also put, however, to keep myself accountable, I entered before handle close under um, TA or. TA used, which was VWAP. So, so that's holding myself accountable. Okay, so yeah, I made profit. I very well could have not made profit because I wasn't waiting for that confirmation. So this is so so you upload these all your trades. You upload. Um, please be as honest with yourself. I obviously am not there. 
and then I will ask for some screenshots periodically for you to upload onto the um, the drive just to kind of check your your trades. So once you upload these, I will then go two or three times a week and look at them. And when we go live, I will use your trades and show you based off of my technical analysis. If you have something different you want me to show you or bring it up, then I will do that as well. So this, um, so basically it's four, four live sessions. Um, I hope to go four more times, but four live sessions for the, the hundred dollars along with me looking at your trades and helping you to hold yourself accountable, which I believe is a phenomenal, <laughs> phenomenal deal, deal, especially what we charge just for one-on-ones alone for the hour. Um, but so, yeah, so there's that. Is there any other? All right, uh, Frank, go ahead. Um, do you know if you can use um, Trading View for for paper trading? Uh, so I'm not sure. That's something that you'll have to ask support. I know IBKR does and TOS, but for Trading View, I'm not. I'm not 100 percent sure. All right, thank you. Yep. So um, Friday will be the last day that you all can um, submit. Uh, after Friday, we I, I'm going to lock and I will invite everybody. There's a small, under free, lo free lounge, you'll see small account challenge. I'll make that private and then I'll send individual invites for all of you. And that's where we, we will be having our discussion. So we'll have our own separate room. You guys have any questions? I will be answering those and then we can be throwing plays back and forth. You trade, uh, Tanya, you trade whatever tickers you want. Um, I'm going to be putting some plays. We'll be putting some plays in the VIP chat. Um, the plays that are in the VIP chat, I probably, I'll, I'll be putting fairly, um, quite a few plays, not every day. Um, but yeah, because that's not fair to the members who are VIP. Um, for y'all, people would just start paying the hundred dollars for the month to do this and then be getting free VIP plays. Awesome. I hope to keep this doing once a month uh for y'all. Uh especially people like D who are interested, new and want to kind of trade by themselves. Um Throughout the challenge, I'll be giving some reading materials, different YouTube links that I use. Um, I've already mentioned trading in the zone, um, and then some other some other books, some other educational materials for you to read. Uh, Jonathan, yeah, go ahead. Hey, Jacob, um, got a question. You mentioned you do your fibs from the uh, big move, so you did it from Friday's low to high. Uh, what if you? What if this week we wouldn't have stayed in that range? Would you just redraw it on the next move, or what? Yeah. So obviously we broke out of that range yesterday and today. Um, why is this not going down? I also just got a, a new laptop so that I can record and everything now, and it's still a learning curve with that. On the, the I'm not sure why that tab at the bottom of the screen is not going down. So let me just. Bring that a little bit lower. So yeah, so I'm not going to show you how I draw it because that's um, I'll, I'll show that this Friday with the people who have paid. But yeah, so we've obviously broken out of this range. So I'm going. So I will I will redraw my fibs for the in, intraday, and then I'll show you how I do them on a longer time frame. But you can see it. I mean, it held. You can see all these bounces that bounce off this 23.6. Again, yesterday it bounced off to zero. Yesterday it closed right at this 23.6. So a lot of people think it's too messy, but this is kind of how I learned and how I am. Uh, Frank, yeah, we have two minutes and 30 seconds left. Can, are you there, Frank? Oh, no, my fault. I didn't. Uh, all right, I just saw you. <laughs> I saw your hand up. So, 
Uh, yeah, so we got about two minutes left. This is recorded. I will post it. Um, but if there's any other questions, either drop it in the chat. Ask your hands to be raised. If not, I appreciate you all for coming. Um, I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Enjoy your weekend coming up. I guess it's tomorrow's Thursday. My days are all kind of uh, messed up. So, yeah. If you if you have trouble, reach out to me. Again, support. They're your best help on Thinkorswim to get it, to get your $1,000 here um, set up. I will say if you have TA on your live, live account, when you open up your paper account, it, you have to um, redo it. So I'll sh try and show you real quick. So you come to set up. And then you will save your workspace or sorry. So yeah, you save you save it. And then when you do your, it's, it's a little bit different. Look, so when you save your uh, workspace on your live, then you come and you share it here and I have it saved here. So you share your workspace, you upload it, and then that's how you get your TA. So don't be confused. Um, if your TA is not open when you make your paper account. It will still be there for your live account. So, yes. Um, if you all don't have any questions, thank you all for coming, coming out. And... Uh, We'll see you tomorrow in the VIP room. Have a good evening.